You know what else I can watch over and over again? Mucho, mucho amor. Yes, the documentary that follows the life of Walter Mercado. It is number six on Netflix. The reviews are in, and it is a big hit. I had the chance to talk to one of the filmmakers. Latinos, we were fortunate enough to grow up with Walter Mercado for 50 plus years. I actually showed the, the movie to my kids and I explained to them what Walter Mercado was like for our culture and awesome. our generation. Thank you for doing that. Uh, it's so important to like keep the legacy of people like Walter Mercado alive for future generations. 190 countries and 31 languages, all as of July 8th. I'm hearing from people in Amsterdam, in Australia, in New Zealand, in Taiwan, in Germany. I mean, it's so gratifying to see that like this kind of beacon of our Latino culture uh, is now getting his just due around the world. Why do you think that it was a story that needed to be shared around the world? You know, so much of the media that we hear about in La coming out of Latin America or U.S. Latino stories often is about immigration issues, the border, the drug cartel, politics, and those are all very important things and they need to be discussed. But the truth is our culture is rich. We have figures who we love, figures who are important. We have our own heroes. Walter McGallo for 50 plus years came into our homes every day. It was five minutes of silence where the family had to shut up. Abuela would smack you upside the head if you talk. Una chancleta. A chancleta. And every day he gave us a message of love and peace and hope. What did you learn? while making this film? But I think ultimately what I learned more than anything in the process of making the film and in the process of spending two and a half years with Walter Mercado, his last two and a half years, was that the most important thing in life is love. I felt a sense of pride as I was watching that as a Latina. What's next? Are you going to show more as a film director about Latino culture? Getting this film made was not easy. It was, uh, it took us three years to make the process, to, to make the film. Every door we knocked on in Hollywood um, just didn't get it. Crossover stories don't work. Or how can you prove that he was in 120 million households a day? These are questions that folks didn't ask when they made the Mr. Rogers documentary. This isn't questions that folks are asking, um, you know, white filmmakers about. Um, and so we knew it was hard. It took us a year and a half to make the film with no money. As a Latino filmmaker, for me, it's extremely important to share all aspects of my culture. We are a complicated people with a rich history and a rich culture with our own heroes. Uh, I also know it's not gonna be easy. You think that now it is going to be easier next time you go make a film? You know, I don't ever take anything for granted. If anything, I hope that the success of this film opens the doors for more Latino stories to be told, whether they're told by me or they're told by other Latino filmmakers and other people of color. Uh, this is about creating change that is long-lasting um, and revolutionaries.